Daddy? Let's do this, guys. Let's get into the game. I'm pumped. We're gonna lock in a match. Playing Mechabellum all morning, boys. All morning. Welcome to that anxious gamer, guys. And I'm back for some more Mecha Battles and Mechabellum. We're going against All Might 968. And uh, it's time to get in the match, guys, without any ado. Let's go. Um, what do we want to play this time? I have against Marksman, guys. I love Marksman. I also think, honestly, though, Quick Supply with Steel Ball is very, very good. Um, but Marksman, Steel Ball, Fang. This is, this is a really good one, too. I think we'll do Quick Supply this time. And we will get two more Steel Balls, which is really strong. Steel Balls, guys, are hella strong early. This, yeah, this is way too close. He could just do Mass Missile. We don't want to do that. Good luck, have fun. Let's tell our opponent. YouTube, check it out. That anxious gamer. All right, guys, let's end the deployment. We're going to be doing steel ball strats. Let's see if we can get the steel ball win. I really love steel ball strats. I mean, it is kind of, it's snowball-y, guys. It definitely snowball -y. It doesn't work against all unit compositions. Looks like he's going storm callers uh, and callers. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we probably will need some AoE. We're probably going to be relying on our Vulcans to take care of everything. Against the storm callers, it's kind of if you want to bum rush them. But we didn't start with speed. So we may need to get Marksman versus that. It is a little bit hard, guys, because if you fall behind in the range battle, you can just get absolutely obliterated. So, you know, are we going to rely on flanks? Are we going to rely on air units? That's another thing. If he goes heavy storm caller, if we see if we see next round him going storm caller again, then we may say, okay, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to go. Uh, we're actually going to go air. So let's just see what he does here. Let's see how this first round comes out. My callers are in pretty good position here. I would like them a little bit farther forward, but they're not in bad position. Yeah, this is good. Definitely slowing things down for the storm callers hurt. Okay, oof. We may still win, but it's going to be close. Just because if we can get on top of things here, I think we'll still win here, guys. He's got a, already a very decent amount of storm callers. Okay, we stunned them here. I think with that stun, it's very likely we'll get the win. But it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Yeah, I mean, once you get on top of the storm callers, that tends to be it. Very close round. Well played. All right. Round two. So let's see this. This is interesting. I wouldn't say any of these is like amazing. I would say laser sights could be very good. Um, I do think we should get into some marksmen. I think we do need something with a little bit of range. Um, I'm too scared of, of doing... Yeah, or we could do Phoenix. I actually, he doesn't have anything that shoots up, so Phoenix could be very strong here. Uh, yeah, we'll do one call of one Phoenix. We'll put the laser sights on the Phoenix. We'll put the Phoenix over here. And we'll actually move the caller to do a flank on his right side. Let's end the deployment. Let's get into it. So he's going to try to go missiles. That's actually a great idea, given that. I have so many ground units, so this will be very effective. Yeah. So we're going to definitely have to be shielding after that because he just won that round just from the missiles. Um, Yeah, I mean, there's no real way we're going to win from this point. Although we did get some callers actually onto his storm callers. He's going so much in the storm callers. Well, actually, does anything strike up, though? We may win just from the Phoenix or at least make the round go even. Yeah, so this is a weird one. I think that he still counts as a victory, I want to say here. Because I think that the line will have time out. I won't be able to kill all these units in time. But he doesn't have anything that strikes up. 
So I'm going to be farming a lot of XP here. Actually, I may get this before the round expires. Yeah, so that was a big mistake there. He just had nothing that shot up. Um, and don't go... Little tip, guys. Do not go arc light shoot up. It doesn't work very well. I've tried it. Um, Wino Assault could be really good. I like the idea of a Wino Assault. I think this could be very, very surprising to him. So yeah, I'm going to drop that Wino behind on him. Let's upgrade this. Since he doesn't have anything that shoots up right now, right now I'm just going to continuously uh, get more Phoenix. Until he shows me that he can actually answer this, there's no reason for me not to just do this again. Now, I should have went shields that he could still have used the missiles again, and he probably will. But I need to really remember that, is I gotta save some money. But these early rounds, we're just kind of testing out unit compositions. We're seeing what each person is going to do. He's getting a ridiculous amount of storm colors. Like the amount of storm colors he's getting is wild, guys. So he definitely wants to beat the distance race. Um, but storm colors can't shoot up. So if I can just overwhelm him and basically win the air fight, he may be in a lot of trouble. Okay, he's upgrading a lot. I'm not sure. Okay, so what does he got here? Elite recruitment, mass recruitment, rapid resupply. Uh, okay. I don't know about that, guys. That seems to be a very strange idea. So that's going to gimp him next round, big time. Um, I don't think that was a good idea. But, you know, it's his game. One thing that it is, though, is we need to we need to definitely fight against these missiles, though, because he's getting too much value from these missiles. Yeah, I mean, the missiles are, yeah, like, oh, okay. Missile kind of backfired. It actually shot towards his unit for some reason, which was wild. My Wino didn't do as well as I was hoping. Strangely enough, though, it's like, honestly, even the Wino didn't even need to do as well as I was hoping because... I don't think this mass storm caller track works when you have nothing in front of it. So we're just going to keep loading up on Phoenix since he basically has showed us that he doesn't he doesn't know how to answer it yet. So let's just keep building Phoenix, guys, uh, until he finds something that can actually counter it and we can kind of lay off of it. Um. Yeah, this is there's a lot of things I could get here. I think I'm just. Yeah, I mean, I think just this increasing attack by 30%, I think you almost always want to do that. It just feels like so strong, just in general. Let's put some Phoenix on the right here. And let's do a shield since he loves to drop, uh, since he loves to drop missiles there. I don't even know what I would like to do. Maybe... Maybe I'll missile in case he does like a rear strike. That could be nice. Okay, he's doing more upgrades, which is okay. What's he doing here? Rapid resupply. I don't know why he keeps doing this rapid resupply. I guess he's continuously barring from the next round. So, like, he keeps going into heavier debt here, guys. This guy's a debtor. He's a credit card user, he's maxed out all his credit cards. And uh, I don't think that's a good long-term strat, bro. Going so heavy into debt is probably not good. Yeah, I mean, the thing is here, he has nothing that really shoots up. He's got marksman. That's it. That's his, like, one unit that can actually fight against my phoenixes. So I think just get Phoenix range here, and I think the game may end. Um, yeah. Strangely enough, it doesn't feel like he knows what to do against the Phoenix. Uh, so let's just get Phoenix range. This is such a weird game, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll do mobilized battleship. I mean, why not? We're gonna go. We're, we're going so much into the Phoenixes anyway. Let's do range enhancement. Let's just keep getting more Phoenixes. We know that it works. Let's just get this. We'll get mobilized battleship. I don't really want it to be behind. I think it's better that the, the battleship is just with my main army. Because I feel like behind it may get killed. 
Okay, he's finally got anti air barrage. So he's finally making units to counter the air. And I think he just keeps deading. Dude, this guy's like a mass debtor, dude. He just keeps doing what happened when he supplies things. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. So he does have one unit that is very specialized at taking out air. That's about it. But I have a lot of air. And I also have Phoenix Range now. Yeah, and I mean, GG. Well played. I think here he just didn't answer the air fight, guys. This shows you how good mass Phoenix strats can be. If you don't build up enough marksmen or mustangs early, you can just get yourself into such a hole that you can't come back from. And you've seen there, he was kind of like, oh, let me wait one more round, one more round. And then he got too far behind. GG. Hope you guys liked that. If you did, push the like button, hit that subscribe, and it would be making a lot more guides and tips for this game. A lot more gameplay commentary. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again, guys.